Greetings, students, and welcome to another edition of Mr. Zoller's Social Studies Podcast. Now, today, we are going to be discussing Samurai Warriors. Samurai Warriors were the warrior knights who fought in the battles that were constantly raging in feudal Japan. But the Samurai were a lot more than just soldiers, and they certainly did not just fight for whoever they wanted. Rather, they had a very strict code of loyalty that they followed. In fact, samurai means one who serves. Well, that begs a very interesting question. Who did they serve? And the answer to that question is the Lord the Daimyo, and that's something you definitely want to write down here. Now, remember, the Daimyo were the leaders of the clan, and clans were groups of people who all shared a common ancestor in feudal Japan. And leadership of the clan was passed down from father to son, with the son becoming the new daimyo. The daimyo were constantly fighting with each other for supremacy. They wanted to see which clan was the most powerful, because the leader of the most powerful clan was the person who became the shogun. And the shogun was the person who had the real power in feudal Japan. It's the job, then, of the samurai to fight for and to serve the daimyo. Now... The samurai's primary weapon is his sword. The samurai trained to use a a variety of weapons, including uh, spears, bows and arrows, and later even guns. But the primary weapon, the most important weapon for the samurai, was his sword. A samurai actually began training with the sword when he was very young. He got his first sword and armor when he was only 13 years old, and he became a samurai and began to learn how to use it. Um, Actually, the samurai would carry around with them two swords, a short sword and a long sword. And it was said that a samurai warrior would take that short sword with him wherever he went, even would sleep with it under his pillow. And only the samurai were allowed to even carry swords, so it would have been very easy to recognize a samurai warrior in feudal Japan. Now, the samurai followed a code of conduct that was known as Bushido. And Bushido means the way of the warrior. Once again, that's something you definitely want to write down. Now, Bushido is translated as the way of the warrior, but but what is it? What does that actually mean? Well, Bushido is the code of conduct that told Japanese samurai, samurai warriors how to behave. It stresses honor, loyalty, and skill in battle. And this influenced all aspects of their life, but most importantly, it taught them how to behave on the battlefield. A samurai warrior who followed the code of Bushido did not want to win a battle through trickery. They did not want to attack their enemy from the side or behind when they weren't looking. Rather, they would want to attack their enemy fairly, um, attack them head on, and fight in a way that would have been considered very honorable. Now, Bushido is based around warfare, but you can see the influence of Buddhism and Confucianism, which were very prominent during the time of Japanese feudalism. Buddhism also directed samurai on the proper way to behave off the battlefield, including how to raise children, how to care for the elderly, and even how they should dress and groom themselves. Now, the greatest desire of a samurai was to lead an honorable life and to die an honorable death. If a samurai failed to live honorably, he could actually regain his honor in death by committing something called seppuku, which is ritual suicide. A samurai who had been defeated or disgraced might commit seppuku, which would allow him not only to regain his honor, but actually to enhance his reputation. Samurai committed seppuku by cutting open his abdomen. Now, it was believed that that would actually release the spirit, but this was a very painful way to die. And that shows you the importance of honor in the lives of the samurai warriors. Well, That's it for today's edition of Mr. Zoller's Social Studies Podcast. I hope you have enjoyed it, and keep studying the social studies.